Section B. Exploring media industries and audiences. Answer all parts of questions 3 and 4. Media industries. Question 3A. Name the organisation that publishes the Sun newspaper, and this is worth one mark. The answer, News UK. B. The Sun is a national tabloid newspaper. Give two other examples of national tabloid newspapers in the UK, and this is worth two marks. The answer, The Mirror and The Daily Mail. C. Briefly explain two differences between tabloid newspapers and broadsheet newspapers. And this is worth four marks. And here's my answer. One way is that tabloids tend towards news related to celebrities, whilst broadsheets are more concerned with politics and finance. Tabloids also tend to deliberately simplify issues by focusing on the political bias of the paper itself. Another way is that tabloids tend to be written in a more informal, matey way, i.e. using slang. Whereas broadsheets are written in a formal manner, unless they are directly quoting someone else. Broadsheets tend to at least attempt to be objective and fair in representing political issues, but generally still represent a political viewpoint which can be easily understood nonetheless. And that got the form four marks. D. Explain why newspapers have websites. Refer to www.thesun.co.uk to support your points. And this is worth 10 marks. The answer. Newspapers have websites for the same reason most businesses have websites. Namely, it's because we now live in a digital world. Furthermore, this digital world even threatens the newspapers themselves and their very existence. This is why websites have even more importance to newspapers than perhaps other businesses, and the, the only life raft newspapers will have once print media inevitably dies will be found on the internet. Other than that, there are other reasons why newspapers have websites. The Sun, for instance, also includes videos on their website, which would obviously be impossible in a print newspaper. It is also easier to get people to enter competitions because of the instantaneous nature of hyperlinks and email, as opposed to the traditional written letter and or coupon that had to be sent by post before the internet was worldwide. This means it is also easier to sell ad space to other companies because people visiting the website can be easily navigated to other sponsored material, such as through pop-up ads, where they tend to be easier to ignore in actual newspapers. This is also key to the newspapers because they can make a lot more money this way than selling traditional print ads in their papers. Furthermore, it is also easier for newspapers to blur news with promotional articles which are really only there to promote a brand and or product. A good example would be the website's news story that SkyQ now offers Spotify. Because Rupert Murdoch, the media owner, not only owns The Sun, but he also owns a big stake in Sky TV too. All in all, newspapers are a business and they have websites in order to create more opportunities to make it easier for people to spend their money for the benefit of Murdoch and people who work for News UK. And that got the full 10 marks.